Yeshayahu, Isaiah 66. Thus says Yahuwah, The heavens are my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For hath all those things has my hand made, and all those things have been, says Yahuwah. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite ruach, and trembles at my word. He that kills an ox is as if he slew a man, he that sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck, he that offers an oblation as if he offered swine's blood, he that burns incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delights in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions, and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spoke, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of Yahuwah, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let Yahuwah be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of Yahuwah that renders recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a male child. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Sian travailed, she brought forth Eth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? says Yahuwah. Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, says your Elohim? Rejoice ye with Eth Yerushalayim, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her. That ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the other nations like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Yerushalayim. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of Yahuwah shall be known toward at his servants, and his indignation toward at his enemies. For behold, Yahuwah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yahuwah plead at with all flesh, and the slain of Yahuwah shall be many, that they, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, says Yahuwah. For I know their works and their great and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather at all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see at my glory. 
And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Pul, and Ludi, that draw the bow, to Tubal and Yavan, to the isles afar off, that have not heard hath my fame, neither have seen hath my glory. And they shall declare hath my glory among the other nations. And... They shall bring eth all your brethren for an offering unto Yahuwah out of all nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain, Yerushalayim, says Yahuwah. As the children of Yashadael bring eth an offering in a clean vessel into the house of Yahuwah. And I will also take of them for priests and for Leviim, says Yahuwah. For as the renewed heavens and the renewed earth, which I will make, shall remain before my eyes, says Yahuwah, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from new moon to new moon and from Shabbat to his Shabbat, Shall all flesh come to worship before me, says Yahuwah. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worms shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh.'"